Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome Hey Day video. My name is Jennifer and here on YouTube I go by Gizmo Spike. So a new episode of Dairy News has just been posted um, onto Hey Day's official YouTube channel. So what does that mean? It's got to mean that the update is really, really close. So um, I've not watched this video yet. Um, I'm going to be watching it for the first time right here in my video. Um, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually watch it through in its entirety. It looks like it's two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, I kind of want to watch it all the way through first and then, um, I'll comment on what I saw and, um, and then I'll actually probably wind up maybe playing it back again. So, um, but first I'm going to watch it in its entirety. So, um, without further delay, let's watch this episode of, um, the Dairy News. Welcome to Dairy News! The October update is just around the corner and we have some really exciting things for you. Keep watching to find out more! Okay, so we're close. I still want that truck. We've made some exciting changes to the valley. Until now, it's been quite easy to just drive by a broken truck or a chicken, but we've made improvement to that. When you see a broken truck or a chicken to collect, you no longer need to stop and tap a button. If you drive by them, your truck will do the action automatically. Oh. You know when you're planting some crops to get some sun points and suddenly your fuel spin's available and you can't get any more sun points? Yes. That's changing. Oh. With this update, the valley will store your free spins so that you can continue gathering sun points even if you have a spin available. And also, it's now easier to check how many sun points you have and what are your activities for the day. If you tap the blue XP star, there is now a tab that shows you all that information wherever you are. Oh, but remember, yay. the sun bar still resets every day. You get to keep the free spins you've accumulated, but the leftover sun points are reset. And apart from that, there will be a bunch of tweaks and fixes to the valley. But that's not all. The world outside the valley still exists, you know. Do you ever visit Greg's roadside shop just to find out that he's not selling anything worthwhile that day? Now, no, you can I ask him to restock his shop for diamonds, and the products will be better. Oh. Still random, but better. The sanctuary animals mm. may be getting a new friend. What do you think it is? It's the spooky time of the year in your farm? Find Halloween trick-or-treats on Greg's farm. If you visit Greg's farm on the week leading up to Halloween, You'll find some spooky pumpkins oh with goodies God. inside. So keep an eye out and tap those pumpkins. Oh, yay! Apart from all those good things, there will also be new derby decos, new crops, new products, new expansion areas, some of those with very special decorations. That's all for now. I hope you all are as excited for this next update as I am. Have a great October and see you next time. And remember to subscribe. <laughs> what the ghost said. Okay, that, that was actually a lot to unpack in that. Um, wow. So, okay, like the main thing that stuck out in my head um, is the valley improvement stuff. So I think the, 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 main, the main point that I am loving so far uh, is the fact that you are not going to lose your sun points anymore. That was one of my biggest frustrations with the valley was uh, the fact that um, you would, you know, be like she was saying, um, like Camilla was saying, you'd be harvesting, you know, some soybeans or whatever, or you'd be filling some crates or sending some trucks. And then all of a sudden I'd be like, wait a minute, I just filled a whole bunch of crates for these boats and I didn't see any of the sun points float up into the you know the sky crap I was filled up I never went back to the valley I never spun so that meant that all those crates that I had done I lost so that's huge I I really 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 like that so um that's probably that's that's a big deal for me because you guys know that I'm not a giant fan of the valley and she did mention a bunch of what fixes or whatever so uh this could make me like the valley more that's what i'm hoping i am really hoping so let's i'm gonna ooh, 
Ooh, all the way back. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go all the way through. Let's watch the truck go by again. Do 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 do. Okay, hold on. We've made some exciting changes to the valley. Until now, it's been quite easy to just. Okay, so the collecting of the chickens and the fixing of the trucks. That's nice, that is very nice. Um, it makes it super easy for the fact that I guess we don't have to waste any time to like, you know, tap, tap, tap um, to fix a broken truck or, um, you know, worry about collecting that chicken. The clicking on the trucks to me wasn't that big of a deal. Um, it was fine, but it is kind of nice to know that if you just drive past it, you can just, it'll fix it automatically. Um, but the chicken thing I think is for, to me, that's like the big deal because, um, you know, if you were like driving around the Valley and you weren't paying attention that much and you just kind of drove past the chicken, you would just miss the chicken. So now I like the fact that if you drive past it, you will automatically get it. So at least that's what that looks like to me. So that drive by a broken truck or a chicken, but we've made improvement to that. When you see a broken truck or a chicken to collect, you no longer need to stop and tap a button. If you drive by them, your truck will do the action automatically. You know when you're planting some crops to get some sun points and suddenly your fuel spin's available yeah, and you can't so get any huge. more sun points? That's changing. With this update, the valley will store your free spins so that you can continue gathering sun points even if you have a spin available. This and big, also, it's now easier to check how many sun points you have and what are your activities for the day. If you tap the blue XP star, there is now a tab that shows and you I all that information wherever you are. But I remember- the fact that we don't have to go into the valley in order to see that either. So that's really, really, really nice. Um, really nice. The sun bar still resets every day. You get to keep the free spins you've accumulated, but the leftover sun points are reset. Okay, and that's fair. I mean, I totally get that. That's still gonna reset, but I like the fact that we're not going to lose sun points while we're doing tasks, so that's fair. And apart from that, there will be a bunch of tweaks and fixes to the valley. Okay, tweaks and fixes. So I hope that they are really good. I have no idea what those would be, but let's hope it's something really good. I just hope it's something that's gonna make me enjoy the valley more. Let's just say that. But that's not all. The world outside the valley still exists, you know. Like Do you ever visit there. Greg's roadside shop just to find out that he's not selling anything worthwhile now, that this day? this is weird. Now, you can ask him to restock his shop for diamonds and the products will be better. Still random. I mean, I guess if you can get some really good tools for, you know, five diamonds, but it kind of looks like those like that resetting or reshuffling or whatever they're calling it, looks like the diamonds progressively go up. So, you know, if you tap on that twice, you've spent 15 diamonds then. So I'm not so sure. Um, and I'm getting super loved on by the cats right now, by the way, Prim and Gizmo will not leave me alone. But better. The sanctuary animals may be getting a new friend. What do you think it is? <laughs> so the sanctuary animals may be getting a new friend. Wink, wink. <laughs> Clearly, so I'm excited. Who is excited about that? That totally means that something is coming in the sanctuary. I mean, right? <laughs> That's what she's saying. So I'm very excited about that. What do you guys think it could be? Would be... I don't know. I personally know what I would like in there, but um, it would be interesting to see what you guys, so comment below um, about what you guys would like to see in the sanctuary, please. It's the spooky time of the year in your farm. Find Halloween so trick or treats on Greg's farm. If you visit Greg's farm on the week leading up to Halloween, You'll find some spooky pumpkins with goodies inside. So keep an eye out and tap those pumpkins. Okay, so this kind of looks like, who remembers um, the Greg's holiday calendar or whatever it was called last year, where um, every day when you went over to um, Greg's farm, if you, you know, tapped on the different presents, it would give you something. So this kind of looks like something similar to that. So that's cool. I loved the Greg's holiday calendar 
thingamabob. So hopefully if this is anything even remotely like that, then this is gonna be awesome. So I'm super looking forward to that. Apart from all those good things, there will also be new derby decos, new crop. Okay, so new derby decos, nice. So um, the derby decorations, you guys are, you know, the ones that you get as um, rewards inside of your derby rewards. At least that's what I'm assuming that she's referring to by that. And then new crops. So that's pretty, you know, obvious new crops. Although we need more fields, but I'm super excited for new stuff. It's new products, new expansion areas. New products, so yay. Um, and then new expansion areas. So I love getting more space on the farm. Love, love, love it. I know not everybody is always thrilled with getting new space um, on the farm, but I love it. In my opinion, I feel like just you can just do more stuff with your farm if you have more space to do it with. So some of those with very special decorations. That oh no. I missed that before. Some of those with very special decorations. So does that mean we're going to need oh no. <gasps> okay, so <laughs> I really hope that we don't need more expansion scrolls, but I have a bad feeling about this, you guys. It's all for now. I hope you all are as excited for this next update as I am. Have a great October and- Okay, so that's all for now. Um, that's actually a lot of stuff though. So um, I'm really excited. Um, I've been looking forward to this update. I think a lot of you guys have been um, speculating that it was close so if you were speculating that it was close then um you were correct it looks like there's going to be a lot of good stuff um in this new update you know last time we didn't get anything new except for the valley and that was because the valley was so so big um so i'm actually really looking forward to the fact that we're going to get like new things new products new crops um stuff like that so uh stay tuned Hopefully we will be getting, um, hopefully sneak peeks are around the corner. I really hope so. So stay tuned to um, my channel because if we do get sneak peeks, I will be breaking those down for you. So um, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think so far. I know it's not that much. It really didn't give us that much information. We basically learned a bunch of stuff about the Valley. Um, we have no real big specifics yet, but let me know what you guys think so far based on what we currently know and uh don't forget if you are not already subscribed to my channel that it is free to subscribe to my channel on youtube but it will make me very very happy so hit that beautiful red subscribe button thanks so much for watching everybody happy farming weeding is life peace it's hey day it's hey it's hey.